Hi, my name's Chris Holtman. I'm the head coach here at Ohio State. You're going to see some guys go through some shooting drills here. And uh, we've been really fortunate here at Ohio State. We've had some elite shooting teams. And the 12K you're going to see here today, as well as some other versions of the gun, has played a really huge role in uh, having some great shooting teams. So enjoy watching these drills. Hi, Jake Diebler, assistant coach with Ohio State basketball. I uh, want to take you through a few drills. Some of these drills we do on an everyday basis as part of our individual skill work. Some of these drills are things that we'll incorporate different times of our, of our skill development season, but really excited to walk you through things. Love the gun, love how you can control the intensity of the workout. You can incorporate a lot of conditioning. Love when you got two guys that you could incorporate different passing drills along with shooting on the move or spot shooting. We're gonna start with a footwork drill, kind of a, a foundation that we do for our shooters. We've had a lot of success. You're gonna see John Diebler here with us. Some of these drills we've been doing for now close to two decades um, that have been really, really vital for, for his success uh, as he went on to have a, a heck of a career, you know, uh, both in college and uh, professionally as one of the best shooters in the world. So thanks for being here with us and uh, let's get started. So this is our uh, shooting warm up. This will be the start of every, uh, every individual workout we do. And this is what we've been doing. Uh, I got my brother, John here one of the best shooters to uh, ever play college basketball. And this is what we've been doing for years, starting back when we were in high school. So the big thing that you're gonna see right now is he has zero foot movement going into a shot. So what we're working on is all upper body, taking out uh, room for air, limiting the margin for air, and he's just repping his upper body form over and over again. What we typically do is we make between five and 10 at one spot, you can dictate how many spots you want uh, during the course of the workout. Could be five spots, could be seven spots, um, could be nine spots, whatever you think your guys need. But we do this continuously to start up to make sure he's getting loose and shooting the same. You notice his feet aren't moving once he gets set, and then we're going into his shot, upper body stays the same the whole time. So the next progression, we just did feet down, no step shooting. Now we're gonna add his left foot planted stepping forward with his right foot. So again, building from our base, we started our foot, feet were down, no movement before the ball left the machine, to now he's gonna be stepping with the pass. Again, you should, you should notice his upper body looks exactly the same. His footwork has now changed, so we're doing more um, spot shooting, more game technique, playoff penetration, hands ready, you go time, space, shooting. Uh, we'll build up uh, from here, so let's get it going. So if you're watching his feet right now, he's got his left foot down, stepping forward with his right foot. And a couple key points here, his foot is going to be moving forward when the ball, before the ball hits his hands. He's not waiting for the ball to hit his hands before he steps forward, but his footwork is initiated when the flight of the pass is, uh, is occurring. And again, same thing, so we would build up five or seven spots, however many spots you felt necessary. You could make between five and 10 at each spot, but th this is our, this is our warm up. This is part of our uh, pre-workout warm up for, uh, for shooting. So the next progression is, and, and we don't do this with everybody, this is an elevated uh, footwork, depending on what type of shooter you have, how well they are shooting on the move, but we're gonna add a hop into, into the shot. So with his ability to shoot, he can shoot stepping in, he can shoot on the hop, he's gotta get the shot off really, really quickly. So being able to shoot uh, efficiently doing multiple footworks for a guy like him is, is vital. So now you're watching his feet. Now he's, now he's hopping into the shot. And again, this, when you build up into shooting on the move, sometimes your footwork might not be perfect. You might not be able to get to your inside foot pivot every time. You might not be able to have your shoulder square. So being able to shoot at a high level with efficiency with different, foot, different footwork makes a big difference, can, can raise your level as a shooter from being a good shooter to a great shooter. Same thing, could make between seven and 10, five to 10 at each spot, five to uh, seven spots. And uh, again, this is the natural progression from feet down to step in to now hop into the shot. <laughs> 